Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video is requested by Maya C. In this video, I'm going to be talking about making a horse that's generally around, an all-rounder. It's genetically similar in most of its skills. So if you're trying to make a horse that's good for competitions, most competitions is going to be quite equal um, everywhere, whereas most horses tend to excel in particularly one skill and then they're quite good in another two. So maybe you want to make one that's sort of more in equal in all six skills. Now you could spend a lot of time perfecting this and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this but I'm just going to be talking about doing a general one that will suit most needs. So if you're crossbreeding, you're obviously going to need a crossbreed to do this. So this is talking about crossbreeding. So obviously just to bear in mind that when you breed uh, a foal, the, the breed of the foal will be determined um, obviously by the genetic makeup of the parents. So if you're using two purebred parents of different breeds and the foal is 50-50, then the foal will be the same breed as the father. So as you can see here, this is a Nakoda. And you can see that I used half Nakoda and half Mustang. And the Nakoda happens to be the sire. So the reason that I chose a Nakoda and a Mustang for this one, and this was a tester one that I did to sort of get rough ideas, you can see most of these skills are reasonably close together. So they're not very spaced out. So you've got a 53, a 60, 73, 74, 68, and 87. So they're all around about close, they're reasonably close together. The reason I chose this was because as you can see here, the Nakoda is very good at dressage and trot and jumping. But it's quite poor at gallop and speed and stamina. But the Mustang, on the other hand, is very good at stamina, speed, and gallop. So the reason I crossed this was because these two horses had skill sets that sort of counterbalanced each other. So if I just um, show them side by side. So you can sort of see there that um, the ones that the Mustang isn't as good in than the Nakoda tends to be. Now you obviously need to look at um, several horses different skill sets to see which would suit. Now obviously if I crossed a horse that was good at stamina with another horse that's going to be good at stamina then we're going to get a horse, a crossbred horse with good stamina. But I wanted to get something that was sort of in the middle where all the skills kind of came up reasonably similar to each other. And you can spend a long time perfecting this and some people do, some people take crossbreeding very very seriously and they spend a long time trying to perfect that and trying to get it exactly the way they want and you can do that and you need to i would advise if you're going to do that is to use an excel spreadsheet and actually take note of what kind of outputs you're getting to do that because that's going to help you um, figure out where you need to add a bit more skill where you're going to need to take away a bit and so forth um, to sort of get the horse that you want that can take a very long time to do so you know it's it's not a quick process but if you just want to do something that's reasonably going to be good and an all-rounder maybe a really good filler for all-round competitions that's a cross that could work obviously you need to find horses that have differing skill sets so if you find a horse that had stamina speed and dressage that it was high end but it was poor and gallop trot and jumping you might, might want to cross it with a breed that's high and gallop trot and jumping and maybe purr and stamina speed and dressage to get something that comes in around the middle. So that's how you can quickly get generally quite a um, all round horse. So thank you to Maestie for requesting the video and hope you love it. Bye guys!